Hello, welcome to the world of Bright. Today we will learn about switching on and off a computer. We have learned about the parts of the computer and now we will learn about how to switch it on and off. So let's begin. Step 1. Remove all the covers from the computer and its devices. Step 2. Switch on the main socket button on the switchboard, the main power button. Step 3. Switch on the UPS. When you switch on the UPS, you will see a green light turning on. It provides power to the computer to work for long hours. Now let's move on to step 4. Step 4 is switch on the CPU power button. When you turn on the CPU power button, you hear some sort of sound. You don't need to panic. That sound just means that the CPU is turning on. Now we have step 5. Step 5 is switching on the monitor button. Monitor helps to display all the pictures and text that we can see on the computer. If you don't switch on the monitor button, you won't be able to see any of these. The monitor takes some time to start off. Gradually we see the wallpaper and the icons appearing on the screen. We can also see a mouse pointer on the screen which looks like an hourglass initially because the computer is busy which means it will take some time to start up. The mouse pointer then changes into an arrow when the computer is ready. This is how we start a computer. Now we will learn how to turn off a computer. We should never turn off the computer directly. It may harm the computer and damage it. There are certain rules which we should follow to turn off the computer as well. Come on children, let's learn about them too. The first step to turn off the computer is to click on the start or the window sign on the screen of the monitor. When you click on the start button, you see a box opening up. Click on the shutdown or turn off option in that panel. When you click on it, another box appears where you can see a red button which is the turn off option. So click on it and the computer will automatically shut down. Now you will see that the screen disappears gradually and the CPU also turns off automatically. Now you may switch off the monitor button and the UPS button and then the main power button.